Hey everyone, Raider here. Hope you're all doing great and having an amazing day. Finally back with another video after the holiday break. And today we're taking a look at Studio from Samsung. This is a free video editing tool that comes pre-installed with One UI 6. So if you're on One UI 6 or later, you already have this on your device. To access it, just go to your applications and search for Studio. Once you have it started up, you'll see a screen like this. This is gonna have your recent projects up top, the ability to start a new project down at the bottom, and then we have some settings up top here. And we tap on this, we can pick our default cropping mode for our pictures and videos that we put onto our timelines. I'm gonna go ahead and leave the defaults here, but just know that you do have those options here. And if you have any issues saving your videos and whatnot, you can adjust your permissions right here as well. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start a new project. I took a couple clips of my Tab S8 Ultra along with my Galaxy Z Fold 5. So let's go ahead and load those up. So we are done now. We're gonna go ahead and hit done up top here. All right, it's gonna add both those clips to the timeline. You're gonna see them down here and we can scrub through the timeline like this. We can also take both our fingers and kind of pinch in to make the timeline smaller, you know, to compress the footage, so to speak. And we can uh, do this to expand it out. Um, in addition to this, we can also rotate to landscape view if you prefer working in this mode. We're working with some shorts, meaning vertical type content. So I'm preferring to use it in portrait. Up top, when we first have our project loaded, we have some options up here. If we click on the three dots or tap on the three dots, I should say. We have our project settings so we can switch our aspect ratio. Again, I'm doing vertical content, so I pick nine by 16. Uh, you might wanna pick 16 by nine if you're shooting just regular landscape material. If we tap on this right here, we get a maximized view of our footage. We can play it and then we can go back to our regular view. Right here, we can play and pause from here as well. And over here to the left, we have this equalizer icon. And if we tap on this, eventually, it's gonna load up a bunch of uh, different music that you can load into your project. You just download them. And if you wanna use one, go ahead and hit done. We'll go ahead and do that real quick. So that's now gonna add music to it. So you can hear that when we hit play. All right, so we've got some background music. You can go through there and pick all the different tracks that you want. You can also delete it. Now down on the bottom here, we have the ability to add text for a given clip. So if I go to this first one here, right, we're gonna go ahead and hit this text button here. I'll go ahead and put in Tab S9 or Tab S8 Ultra, I should say. All right, so we've got Tab S8 there. Now what we can do is we can adjust the text effects where we're here. All right, so we have all that going on. We can adjust the color. Of course, you would expect that, right? We can also adjust the font itself. We have a few di different options here, I should say. And we can adjust the alignment by tapping on this multiple times. This will uh, adjust multi-line text alignment. In addition to that, we can tap outside of it and now what we do is we have these handles here and now we can move it around like this. We can also resize it and change the orientation by grabbing any one of these four handles in the corners. I recommend using the S Pen for this as well because it's tricky with your fingers. We also have the ability to add stickers. So we can just tap on that and we can go through all the stickers that we have. All right, pretty cool. You can drop one of these on here. I'll go ahead and grab this uh, Samsung Galaxy one. We'll go ahead and drop it on there. We can make it larger. We can shrink it in like this. We can move it around. And like the text, we can also change the position of it. We also have this music note icon at the bottom. It lets us pick some music that we have stored locally on your device. Do keep in mind, if you're gonna upload this to social media, you wanna be real careful on what you're actually adding to your video, right? Here with this plus sign to the left, we can add a blank clip, which is basically gonna put a spacer that's black or we can add another image or video. So this is how you add more media to your project. So now let's talk about working with footage on your timeline. So you can see here we have this one clip and it goes over to another clip. And you'll see here we have this little marker right in the middle. Now what this allows us to do is we can tap on this and we can pick which transition we want to happen from one clip to the other. So we can pick between a whole bunch of these different transitions and we also have the ability to tap on this all checkbox here and what that'll do is it'll apply this transition to all the cuts that you have on your timeline. So that's a nice way to speed up your workflow. Let's go ahead and see this transition in action real quick. So we'll just scrub our timeline a little bit to the left. We'll go ahead and hit play. All right, just wait just a second. There it goes. A nice little smooth blank transition went into the next clip. Nice. You'll notice as we're scrubbing back and forth on our timeline here, as we tap on a clip, you'll see these icons appear right here. So what this middle one does is this puts a cut anywhere that you have the uh, marker on right here. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. 
That puts a cut right there, and that'll allow us to put another transition right there if we want, and or press and hold and move that part of the clip around. So we can adjust where we want the clips to fall on our timeline and adjust the order in which they get played. So that's a great way for you to chop up all your stuff and uh, you know separate into smaller clips. In addition to that, you'll see there's these little arrows here, this left arrow and this right arrow. What those are, those are trim buttons. So what this is gonna do, if I tap on this left one, it's gonna trim everything off to the left. And if I tap on that right one, it's gonna trim everything off of this clip, not the entire timeline, but this particular clip, it's gonna trim it away. Let's see that in action real quick. Let's trim the front of this clip off. Boom, it's gone right there. And if we wanna get it back, just go ahead and stretch it back, right? We can go ahead and bring all our footage back like that. You never lose it. It just kind of clips it out of the way and it won't be included in the final video if you don't want it. But if you do need to bring it back, you can always bring it back by moving those handles. We can do the same thing by tapping this right one here. Boom, it just cut all the footage off from the right. We can bring it back by just expanding this out. And we also have our little delete icon to delete the currently selected clip. Now when you have a clip selected, like we're gonna tap on that to select it right now, you'll notice we get this bottom row of icons that allows us to do more functionality. So if we tap on this one right here, this allows us to straighten up our footage. We have some different uh, actions we can do here. For, let's me move the uh, buttons here. Let's get over to the right one. See, I have some different options there. We can adjust the audio. We can adjust the fade in and fade out volume, as well as the overall volume of the particular clip that you have selected. And then we can go down here and hit this timer looking icon. And this is gonna allow us to speed up or slow down the footage in that particular clip. And we tap on this one here. This allows us to apply different filters. And there's all these right here. In addition to that, you can also set up your own custom filter. And our last icon here, it looks like a brightness indicator. This allows us to adjust our brightness and a whole bunch of other settings like contrast, you know, our highlights. And if we go through here, you just have everything you can think of as far as adjusting the picture itself. Whenever you're done making an adjustment, you wanna go back to your main project. You wanna hit this back arrow right here. It's gonna take you right back. When you're happy with everything and you're done with your edit, just come up here and hit done. All right, and once you've done that, you can come up here and hit the three dots and you have the ability to rename it. You can change a size and format. Um, and these options will be dependent on which format you shot it in originally. And you also have the uh, output format that you want to save the uh, rendered movie as. So HEVC or the more compatible H.264. When you want to render the final version of your video, you're going to go ahead and tap this right down here. Save movie. Let it do its thing real quick. All right, now it looks like it's all done. All right, if we open up our gallery application and go to recents, here is our newly created video right here. All right, there it goes. It's playing. All right, so this is Studio from Samsung, included free with One UI 6. If you have any questions or comments about today's video, please drop them down in the comments section below. Appreciate your time, and as always, thanks for watching.